Liz Truss sent a letter yesterday, actually, to Rishi Sunak and Michael Gove and other colleagues, just explaining the several concerns she has about the UK's borders not actually being ready for next year. And of course, next year, the transition period ends, we will leave the single market and customs union, and there will be checks and controls on goods going to and from the EU, which don't take place at the moment. And I guess the most striking things in this letter the things that's really standing out are firstly, Truss said she's concerned that UK ports might not actually be ready in time to carry out this, these checks. Mm. And, th- and if that is the case, then there is a risk of goods being smuggled into certain ports. Um, secondly, she's concerned that not only will UK ports not be ready, but the system the government is creating to apply two different tariffs in mm. Northern Ireland won't mm. be ready either. And thirdly, she said there's a risk that the government's plan to kind of phase in checks over six months and give the EU preferential treatment temporarily could actually face a legal challenge at the World Trade Organization. From, yeah, from the WTO, presumably, because of the, the favoured nation legislation. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So I, I guess, you know, the concerns that Truss has written about this week are things that business groups, I'm sure you've been speaking to, and Hauliers and others have been saying for a number of weeks now. And in some cases, James, uh, these concerns have been downplayed or indeed battered away. Well, denied outright. I mean, I know Steve Baker was on his feet in the House this week, I think yesterday, um, sounding somewhat sceptical about the likelihood of Boris Johnson's promises with particular regard, I think, to Northern Ireland being kept. Well, that's right. And if you do speak to business, like the big business groups who are going to be really affected by these changes, they tell you that when they try to get answers from the government on the many, many questions they have about how all this is going to actually work, they really struggle to get any details from the government. There's a real culture of kind of um, keeping the shutters down and not revealing too much information if you can avoid it. But clearly this letter reveals that there is real concern right at the highest levels um, of, of the government about what's going to happen at our borders in around six months' time. So, for, for the layman, what is the what, what, what's the worst case scenario here? If none of these con- if all of these concerns turn out to be justified and none of them are addressed, I, I, I think everyone's taken on board the prospect of uh, smuggling from the EU into the UK w- without tariffs or checks is 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 on the list. What else would be on the list if 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 Liz Truss is right and if nothing is done? Well, let's let's say, for example, James, that there are ports which aren't ready to carry out checks on goods. It, it just means you've got a, a crisis in which we don't really know or say for sure what is coming in to the country. And, and the other way as well, this country is going to have to perform export checks on things going to the EU. And if, if we're not able to deliver that in full, the EU is not going to have full confidence in what's going on. So this, is, this is another point that's been missed, isn't it, by a lot of people. It, it doesn't matter what we do with regard to trying to do it in phases or with regard to saying we're, we're, we'll bring it in slowly, we won't do it on day one. We have absolutely no say whatsoever upon um, the status or the passage of goods from here to there. That's now entirely up to them. And they can say, I don't, I mean, you know, you, you, both, you play by our rules or you don't play at all. And they will yeah, say that, that. Yeah, that that is a key point. That this this announcement the government made recently of we're going to phase in these checks to give businesses time because they've been dealing with COVID nineteen, mm. etc. It, it it was a welcome move, but as you said, this only covers um, imports. Yes, but when exactly. it comes to exports, it's it's up to customs officials in Calais, uh, elsewhere in the EU, what what they what they do. And I think recently on your show you talked about the good vehicle movement system with Joe from Bloomberg, yes, because for, right. for, w- w- which is going to be dealing with those exports. And what's not, meant, what's not covered in this letter is that there are real concerns that that system will not be ready either. So I feel like we've hit a real, you know, we're six months from the end of a transition period. Businesses are starting to look at the arrangements they've got in place or not got in place. And now there's real kind of panic and alarm, I think, as, as we approach this next cliff edge. And final question, which you, you may not want to answer, but I, I mean, you're right, the letter was addressed to Rishi Sunak and Michael Gove. It, it, in many ways, the, the silent CC will be Dominic Cummings and to, to a lesser extent, Boris Johnson. Where, where at the moment, and this is a, a question I ask in good faith, even though it casts me as not being very good at my job, wh- where does the power lie in this process? Who ultimately is going to have to either address or challenge Liz Truss's concerns? 
Well, I guess it's his, <laughs> it's, it's, his, uh, it's Downing Street, which obviously sets yeah. the agenda when it comes to Brexit. And it's last time we Street. checked, Boris Johnson was still claiming that a, a, a lot of the stuff that looks inevitable and fact-based simply won't happen, which is where Steve Baker came in yesterday. Well, we know from, from Johnson's performances and PMQs that often when he receives qu quite technical questions, yeah. very specific questions on Brexit, Northern Ireland, the border, etc., that he's not a huge fan of kind of matching those quite detailed questions with detailed answers. Um, Diplomatically but as, put. Uh, yeah, that's, that's quite polite, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll see. I mean, I think this letter, obviously, it's quite unusual for a letter between senior ministers of this nature to come out. Um Business groups are obviously very concerned, up in arms about it. And yes. I don't think the government can just ignore this and, and pretend that it hasn't happened.